Hi friends, welcome back to the Programmer Guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about the parallel array sorting in Java 8. As you know, you already having awareness like address.sort is there, okay. But there, right, um, order of n, that is the uh, time complexity is more because, right, it is going to be check each and every object. But in the parallel sort array, the data is going to be divided into two objects and each data in between divided right is going to be sort as per the i mean dividing as per ordering okay so likewise order and order and divide and sub dividing subdividing dividing and subdividing in this way it is going to be divide so the performance of the uh, array sorting is going to be more in parallel array sorting see uh, let's coming to the topic java 8 introduced a new method called parallel sort in java util dot arrays class it uses the parallel array sorting of the elements the algorithm of parallel sort the array is divided into sub arrays and sub arrays again divided into the and their sub arrays until the minimum level of the set of array like suppose there is a uh, six elements are there in the array so first it will be divided into the 3 3 after uh, first 3 is going to be divided into the two sets like 2 and 1 and second set also divided into the 2 and 1 so likewise at most minimum it is going to be divided and uh, uh, in memory it is going to be happen right by using the multi threading co concept so the parallel array sort is performance is going to be high arrays are sorted individually by multiple threads the parallel sort uses the fork or join concept for sorting as I told you, right, the fourth concept is going to be talks about the divide, uh, I mean, divide and subdivide rule. The, whatever this uh, end of the sorted or sub arrays are there, right, those are going to be merged. This is how parallel array sort is going to be work. Okay, there is a many methods are there. So, since it is having more methods, right, so, I mean, like integer, flow, double, okay, and other uh, data types also there. So that I have considered as the object as the one of the method like uh, for sorting the data ascending order, public static wide parallel sort object array for sorting the data specific range. That means there is a 10 elements are there in this array. So you want to sort only up to six rest of them you want to ignore. Then you can use the parallel sort object array into from and into two. Okay. The main advantage of uh, this parallel array sort is right parallel sort method uses the concept of multi threading which makes sorting faster as compared to normal sorting method okay let's coming to the examples we will see the examples parallel array sort see i have taken the integer numbers int of array okay from uh, six seven elements six elements okay and using using arrays dot parallel sort, I am taking this object array. So here, right in parallel sort, as I told you, right having many more methods, int array, okay, and long array, float array, see, likewise double array also there. See double array. So instead of that, we can consider it as a object. So it is going to be take all the values, okay. So and I am using the arrays dot parallel sort of numbers. Numbers is going to be integer array. So that it is going to be called the int array. Okay. So uh, printing the sorted array. Here right arrays dot stream. Stream is the concept as you know right. It is going to be work with uh, collections and arrays. Arrays dot stream numbers for each n lambda expressions is sort of n. So it, uh, it works as a for loop enhanced yeah. for loop and it is going to display the data as per the sorting order let me execute this program see sorter array is 1789030 as you, you after seeing the data of input and uh, this data right you can get to know how this parallel sort is going to be work since the data is very less right so you can use the arrays not sort or parallel sort but if data is more is there right like uh, thousands and millions of data then parallel sort is going to be work as a performance more now we will see the another example 
parallel arrays are with date range since here having the number of methods right uh, uh, from index and to index see here it is the uh, interray object and uh, from index and to index everything is there okay likewise right parallel arrays are uh, here having long tub float double okay all other uh, uh, objects are applicable for the sorting the data so that uh, i have taken the in the uh, here right i have taken the public static void parallel array sort object array of into from into from index and to index okay such a way we can use okay so now um, i have taken the one array of in object so that is 5 70 10 to 60 9 9 53 so i am printing the data how it is going to print after that arrays dot parallel sort the from index is the 0 and to index is the 6 so from from index to to index it is going to be sort the data so rest of the data is going to be ignored let me execute this program see here write uh, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so seven indexes that means eight number eight elements are there okay um here right eight elements are there that means seven indexes rs are going to be start with zero index right so zero to six so here right uh, six elements are sorted rest of them are ignored suppose if you want to sort only five four elements you can do that also okay Suppose if you want to sort uh, more than what it is having, right? 15. See, array index out of bound exception because, right, um, the, the, the limit of the data is not having the given input array. Okay. I hope you are enjoying watching this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more videos.